At one point this meet, when trainer Mindy Willis's barn proved tough to beat, she moved into second place in the trainer standings. The only conditioner she was behind was 17-time Remington Park title holder and the all-time winningest trainer in North America racing history, Steve Asmussen. With that kind of dominance, one has to wonder how trainers with a finite number of horses could ever beat the likes of the Asmussens and Carl Brobergs in the game. I think that you gotta, you got to keep that in the back of your mind. Everybody would like to have it. One time in my life, I would like to have a leading trainer, even if I have to go to somewhere but you know I mean I've been beaten on the uh, you know I've gotten close but never gotten it you know but it's hard to outrun them guys. One of the biggest reasons Willis has had a great meet is a horse named Sunlit Song. He is easily one of her favorites ever and has won more money than any horse she has ever trained $731,018. Sunlit Song has won 18 of 42 starts including this year's Remington Green Stakes, and he is the old man in the barn at eight years old. He loves what he does, you know. I mean, you don't have to force him to do, to go out there and run. He does it because he loves it. Just like Stuart said in the interview, he says, you know, he knows what he wants to do. I just got to put him in the right spot to do it. Sunlit Song has been a bit of a Jekyll Hyde horse for one of his owners, Carolyn Barnett. Oh, he's sweet. He loves to be petted, and, you know, he comes up, and he's very uh, social, yeah. He's not one that doesn't like to be messed with. And that's good because the people that own him, they love to be social with him, you know. When I first got him, you couldn't handle him in the paddock. He was really bad. Oh yeah, he was terrible. In fact, the poor lady, she'd stand way on the outside, even in the apron of the grandstand. She wouldn't even go in the paddock because he was wild. Willis has been at Remington Park since it opened in 1988 and is third in the all-time top female trainers list here. She has trained in five decades now and she can relate to the old man in the barn, Sunlit Song. I'm not a quitter, and I kept, you know, like, oh, I'm gonna get this figured out, you know, but what keeps you going is looking for that next good horse.